red dress with a basque waistline okay if this is your first time of coming into my channel guys you're highly welcome so first of all go ahead and draft out our basic bodies okay so that's what we're going to do so as you can see i have my pattern paper on fold i went ahead to mark out my shoulder line or my starting line so i'll go ahead and impute my basic um, bodies okay so i first of all got my shoulder to my boss point shoulder to underball shoulder to waist and shoulder to hip line so these are the lines i have here okay so i'll go ahead and level it this is my boss point and this is my under boss my waistline my hip line so after that now go ahead and divide my shoulder measurement by two then i'll go ahead and combine by half an inch for my shoulder slope then from there i'll go ahead and mark my arm hole or my chest line so I use my shoulder divided by two to get my chest line so as you can see I'm trying to get my arm hole curve so after this now we'll go ahead and mark out our neckline so I'm using the standard neckline three by three inches three widths three inches width and three inches depth okay though we don't need this upper part but I will have to drop this for so that it to be able for clarif clarification sorry guys okay so I, you won't get confused especially for the beginners okay so as you can see i'm still trying to draft my basic bodies so i can see i've gotten my arm hook curve so the next thing i'll do i'll go ahead and mark out my boss pan or boss um nipple to nipple measurement okay so after that i'm going to connect it from the boss point down to my hip line okay so from the waistline i'll go ahead and mark half half inch on both sides after which i'll connect it to my boss point then down to the hip line so we are trying to get our dart so you can see now this is my dart i have this i have my dart so the next thing we are going to do right now is to determine where you want your neckline how low or how high you want your neck depth to be okay so that is what you see me doing right now so from the boss point you are going to mark whatever you have from the boss point whatever you have left after removing your dad you're going to mark it at the sides so after that you're going to connect it with your free uh, french curve or you can use your free hand to make a curve so you can see i've determined my neckline so this is the neck now I, I use seven inches because after this seven inches we'll still go ahead and fold it for our rope case where our strap is going to pass so this is what you see me doing the video so now i'm trying to mark out my basic um body circumference so you're going to divide your bust remember i've already gotten our bust so the under bust the waistline after which you add your dart intake okay so this is just the normal basic um, bodies we are trying to draft here so after that now we are going to stop on the waistline so from the waistline we're going to make a slant curve into the hip line from on the cent uh, center part to give this a basque waistline and see right now i'm done with the bus right now so i'll go ahead and cut it out remember like i said we are not going to be needing the upper part the yoke we will not need it so you're just going to cut from where you want your neckline i use seven inches here so you can see what i'm doing i came up by one inches from my chest line okay so i'm going to cut it out so after cutting i'm going to be using this pattern to cut out my back pattern directly on my fabric okay before i will cut out the remaining part of the front so this is the fabric i'll be working on so i'm going to use this pattern first to draft to cut out my back all right the back pattern of this dress so you can see now i've placed it so leaving one and a half inch for my zipper allowance sorry my camera didn't capture that part but i left one it, my fabric is on fold and i left i added 
one and a half inches for my zipper allowance okay so after that i'll go ahead and pin it then i'll go ahead and cut okay i'll trace exactly what i have there okay so you can see the front i'm not done cutting the front yet i want to use this pattern to cut out the back first before cutting my front so now i'm done cutting it on my fabric so i will set this aside so you can decide to you can see my zipper allowance like i said earlier sorry my camera i'm trying to adjust my camera so now you are going to determine how low you want your but you can still maintain the seven inches or you can still come down but i decided to uh, come down a little bit by uh, one inch or less so this is what i have i'll go ahead and open up the zipper allowance so this is for the back the dump for the back of our dress so right now let me go ahead and finish up cutting my front you can see i'm trying to remove the the cup area so now this is what i have for the cup area so i'm going to set the other side apart so because i'm going to work at this junction we will be doing slash and spread method but you can go ahead and transfer your pattern directly into on your fabric by doubling the measurements you have or you can do slash and spread method okay so i'm using i went ahead to mark two two inches interval on my pattern at this junction i realized that the lines will be confusing so i turned my pattern to the other side you can see i'm marking my two two inches interval okay so after which you go ahead and cut it out so i'm going to be using it to spread after slashing it we'll go ahead and spread it okay so but so you can see i'm trying to label it i have eight pieces to all together so i'll go ahead and cut them out after which we will go ahead and spread it to get our um gathers or yes to get our gathers so you can see me trying to slash you have to number it so that we know which one is following you which we will not be confused so i'll introduce my another pattern paper now so i'll go ahead and arrange it so after arranging it i'm going to be spacing it by two 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 inches you can see the space i have there is two inches interval or you can decide to use one and a half or one inch depends so i'm done pinning it so this is what i have i'll go ahead and trace my new pattern so this to serve as my new pattern but if you don't want to do this slash and spread method you can simply double your pattern the bust the cup area whatever you cut out you can just double it okay so this is it you can see this is my new pattern now so remember this is a milk and dress so i've transferred it on my fabric adding allowance on the down part and a little bit of allowance on the upper part okay this will enable me for the joining attaching it to the main bodies so i will set this aside now then we'll go ahead and cut out our the remaining parts so at this point you can see the down part i left a little bit of allowance as well as the cup area i added half half inches you can see my half inches i added at the upper part the cup area and the down part but at the side i've already added my allowance sewing allowance on my pattern so i did not add any allowance on it while cutting it out so now i've introduced the fabric this i want to cut the down part so this determine the amount of fabric you are working on how you how full you want the gathers to be so my i used four yards for this so you can see so i'm, I'm trying to minus my waist shoulder to waist measurement then you are, after my nursing it they are going to mark out your full length okay so i subtracted my shoulder to waist where the back uh, start stopped so after that 
you are going to get the full length after you should cut it out so i used a total of four years for this fabric so as you can see guys i'm done cutting it out so this is what i have here i've even gathered my i went ahead so you can see my darts i've sewn the damp part so you can see the gathers i have here i've already pinned it to the cup leaving a little allowance at the top so this will enable me to join both the frame, the lining for turning the, uh, the lining so you can see the lining here i have exact the same thing so i have i i use the same fabric as the lining you can see i have these two here the same thing i did on the main fabric is the same thing i did on the lining so we are going to gather the down part fix it on the cup so do the same thing on on the lining so after which you go ahead and pin them together pin the upper part with the little half inch allowance i left on the upper part you can see so i'm going to sew it this way after sewing it then i will finish the side i'll go ahead and finish the side okay then for a neat finishing then after which i will turn it over like this so after turning it over i'm going to create a channel i'll sew like half an inch where my rope is going to pass or my stripe remember after that i'm going to open a little bit where my stripe is going to pass so this is the center part you are going to fold for you to get the center part but i'll go straight to my sewing machine after demonstrating it then i'll show you what i have this is for the back okay you can see i cut exactly so i use the same fabric as the lining i'll go ahead turn the back then add my dots okay after which i'll come back and show you guys so guys so this is it you can see right now i'm done sewing it so this is the front you can see both front and back is looking the same you can use anywhere as the front so this is the back as well so you can see so this is my zipper allowance you can see it's very neat both in, in and out because i use the same fabric so this is my stripe this is the stripe i'll be using so this is my stripe now I'll be using a safety pin to pass it through the channel i created like i said earlier so i'm going to fold it together to get the middle points so i'll be creating a little hole from the front side so i'm, I'm trying to mark the middle points so this is what i have here i'll go ahead and open a little i'm trying to cross check so i'll mark it so where i marked i'll be creating a little i'll use my scissors to make a small hole there so you can see i've made a small hole where my safety pin will pass for me to be able to pass in my stripe as you can see now i'm trying to pass in my stripe to the other side to the side of the dress the ample curve side so this is it i'm going to secure it with the pin then after that i will repeat the same thing on the other side so i'm going to secure it with the pin okay so there are different types of milk milk, uh, milk made dress a uh, top there are different types so this one is a full there are some which they break up the breast or the cup bustier side is separated okay but this one is the cut together so there are different types so you can still achieve it the only difference are going to separate the bra up as if you are cutting a corset that is just the difference okay so as you can see i'm done passing out my stripe so i'll go ahead and shape my bodies i'll be shaping this dress right now you can see i'm trying to pin it for shaping so i'll go ahead and use the allowance i added to shape my dress you can see we are making progress so this is it so you are going to pull to adjust to fit to the size of the back body so this is what i have now go ahead and shape it out so so after which i will show you guys what next so this is the gathers you can see the down part i've already gathered 
the four yards of fabric I cut out for my gathers. So this is my sleeve. So this sleeve is going to be a, like a balloon. The upper part, I'm going to pass elastic both the up, upper part and the down part of the sleeve. So, so this is what I have here. You can see I'm done with the sewing. I've shaped the dress. So this is the after shaping it, I've turned it to the right space. So this is what I have. So the next thing I will start from the back. Okay, I will start from my zipper allowance. So I'll go ahead and pin. You can see me doing. I'll pin it all around to make sure that the gathers go round to the the other from one zipper allowance to the other okay so as you can see i will sew it all around so guys so this is the final look this is how it's looking like is it not beautiful oh my goodness it's giving so this is it so this is the back side you can see the dress is giving very simple so this is how it looks like okay so the next thing the only thing left for me to do is to attach my sleeve then i'll go ahead and fix my zipper then boom we are done so you can see i've passed elastic the upper part and the down part will have elastic so i'll go straight and fix it after which i'll wear it to our mannequin for you to see the final look of this beautiful dress okay okay guys thank you so much as you can see this is the final look guys wow it came out beautifully well very very beautiful so this is the final look oh guys so thank you guys for watching this video to this very end please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like i hit notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much guys for joining me on this tutorial see you in my next video okay Bye.